Hi, I'm Kat Rittenauer, and welcome to Units, where we will be introducing movements to improve mobility and strength. There will be four levels in each unit. Level one is movements from a chair. Level two will be movements from just a simple standing position. Level three will be movements on the floor. And level four will be advanced movements with no limits. Each level within each unit will have three or four movements. An arm movement, a leg movement, a core movement, and a cardio movement. Unit one, level three. Okay, and here we are at level three. If you have a mat, any kind of mat, if you've got a wrestling mat, a yoga mat, go ahead and grab that. If not, maybe just a blanket. If you're on carpet, you don't need a mat at all. You're gonna be just fine. Let's start level three. Okay, today your arm movement is gonna be an extended plank. It is similar to a regular plank, which I'm sure you've seen, which is from your elbows and toes. That's more of a core movement. This one's gonna be an arm movement, where, like I said, we're gonna be extended, and we're gonna to try to hold it for 30 seconds. So I'll show you what it looks like. You're gonna have your arms extended, hence extended plank, legs behind you, and we're just gonna hold that. I'm gonna start the timer and go ahead and, and do this. You can do it with me and I'll describe it as we, as we hold it. Okay, 30 seconds, here we go. Okay, so you wanna have your whole body nice and flat. You don't wanna be dipped down way here or have your bum up too high. Nice and straight as you possibly can. Shoulders should be right over top of the hands. Pull your navel in just a little bit so you're exercising that core during our arm movement a little bit. Again, this is one is more for your shoulders and your core, but you should be able to feel your core moving as well. Your legs behind you can be close together. That's totally okay. You can bring them out wide for a little bit better balance. That's okay too. Keep holding it. Oh, that was 30 already. Great job. Okay, and for today's leg movement, we're going to be doing kickbacks. It's a little bit more of a glute movement than legs, but we're going to group those all in together, and here's what it looks like. Now you can go from an extended plank position with the arms, just like our previous move, if you'd like to, or if you need to go down to your elbows because maybe you've got some wrist, wrist issues, that's totally fine, feel free. So if you want to start up here like this, you can. Like I said, if you want to go down to your elbows, totally fine. Okay, these are kickbacks. So we're just going to start with one leg, keep that knee bent to start, you're just going to lift and kick it back and bring it in. You're not going to set it down between each one, just a kickback and a bring in. Okay, we're going to try to do 20 each side, okay, and then we'll just switch to the other side. I'm going to describe them as we go. You can count at home, and I'm going to try to just talk you through it, so I won't really be counting mine. You count yours. These aren't going to be, we don't have to match time, okay? You don't have to count with me. You count yours, and I'll get through them while I describe. All right, here we go. We're going to start together. You go ahead and count yours and just listen to some direction. Go ahead. All right, we're going to kick straight back and bring in. Please don't feel like you have to do this quickly. These are completely at your own pace. If you're able, or if you have some weight, um, ankle weights to add to your ankle, that would be a huge, awesome addition to up your game a little bit on this particular move. Again, you can go from your elbows or from up here extended. Either way, you wanna pull in that navel a little bit to work your core during, like we talked about in the last move. You just soft kicking back, soft knees on this one. Don't touch the knee down. You're just kicking back and bring it in without tapping in between each time. That's probably close to 20 right there. Good job, we're gonna spin. I'm gonna spin, you can just flip to the other leg. We're gonna do the same thing, other leg. Come on down, here we go. Go ahead and start, 19, 18. Again, go ahead and go at your own pace from the extended arms or down from the elbows, pull in that navel, <clears throat> navel. And if you've got weighted ankle weights, Feel free to add those. Okay, we gotta be close. That's probably eight more. Seven, six, four, three, two, one. Great job. And for our core movement, we'll be doing hands and knees, alternate side crunch. Okay, it's kind of a combination of the two moves we just did. We'll be starting on our hands and knees, of course. We're gonna alternate our right arm out and our left leg out. Everything else stays on your hands and knees, so what you're gonna do is extend both of those out, and you can immediately feel your core having to hold yourself there. So you're gonna just extend out, and then crunch them in together, like elbow knee under your body. See, I lost my balance a little bit there. And then again, extend out, crunch in. We'll probably do about 15 each side together. All right, here we go. Extend, crunch. Go ahead. 
ahead and do these. Count up to 15. Now again, these can be at your own pace. No rush on this. You do want to do them a little bit slow and steady. That way you've got control over your body. We're not falling all over the place. Okay, sometimes the faster you go, the more prone you are to losing your balance a little bit. Right arm, left leg extend. Pull in and crunch. Pull, crunch them together underneath. Let's go five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. You should feel this in your glutes a little bit too as that back leg extends in. Just concentrate on pulling in those abs a little bit so we're really working on the core here. Okay, so same thing other side. All right, same thing, 15 each side, hands and knees. Here we go. Extend and crunch. Very good. Leg goes straight back. Soft knees. Pulling that navel a little bit all the time. Keep yourself, your, your core engaged. Slow and steady. Nice and controlled. We're probably five more. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. And for our cardio move today, we're gonna to be doing mountain climbers. You may or may not have done that before, but here's how they look. We are gonna be down on our arms yet again, so your shoulders might be a little bit sore if you've completed this whole unit, excuse me, this whole level. Uh, and they look like this. You're gonna come up on your toes, kind of like in a running position to start. Again, your extended arms here, and all you're gonna do is kind of run your legs like you're climbing a mountain and running up the side of it, okay? You're just gonna alternate them like this. That's it, and we're gonna go like 30 seconds. You're gonna feel this uh, in your heart for cardio. I'm gonna start the timer for 30 seconds. We'll do it together. Ready? And go. And I untied my shoelace, but that's okay. Okay, remember you don't have to count these because we're just doing it timed. Okay, these can be nice and controlled. Pull that knee in every time, every single turn. Both knees are coming in, alternating. Almost done. Good, and that's three. Excellent. Okay, so that was level three. Your goal is to do each of those four moves, three sets of all four. You can do it. Great job. Now that you've completed level three, why don't you go ahead and go on over to level four and give that a shot. You got this.